23-year-old Ia Lu started her business Waste Trainer NZ Australia at the tender age of 21 and grew the company to 3.5 million in revenue in its first year. From a $6,000 initial investment, she now has customers in 90 plus countries and the business is still growing. Welcome Ia, it is a pleasure to have you. Yeah. <laughs> this is really quite a phenomenal success story. So first up, tell me how on earth did you stumble on Waste Trainers and what are Waste Trainers? So I first came across waist trainers when I was on Instagram, uh, when I was, you know, last year in April. Randomly doing the scroll as Yeah, randomly do. scrolling, yeah. not intending to buy anything. And um, I ended up buying one and I tried it and I loved it. So I thought, you know, if I wanted one, then other girls like me would probably want one too. So the whole point of them is, is that they, you just, it's like a thing you wear around your waist yeah. to suck you in. Yes, yeah, so it's quite tight, so it's, it's good for appetite suppression. You don't feel as hungry. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, <clears throat> I need one. <laughs> <laughs> Always got a great appetite. Okay, so you've got this great idea. You think, girls are going to love this around the world. How did you take it to the next level? Well, actually, when I started, I didn't, you know, I didn't know it would be where it is now. I thought if I could sell 10 a week, that would be great. And yeah, it just, it just grew. Now, I, I, of course, we've got to mention the, the Kylie Jenner story mm. to this. Um, tell everybody what happened there. You thought she might be a good ambassador for your range? Yeah, so over the past you know, year or so, we work with a lot of people anyway. But then I thought, you know, Kylie, I love Kylie, so she'd be a great ambassador. Yeah. <laughs> and you paid her $300,000 to post a picture of her wearing one of your waist trainers? Yeah, just one, one photo. Just the one photo. <laughs> one photo. And so how did you go about approaching her? Uh, we, I mean, it's really easy. You can find anything on Google. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. The okay, internet sorry. is a whole wide world. So just do your homework. And so, yeah. so you approach it, so 300000 have you made your money back on that? Um, eventually, I mean, I thought we would make it in one to two weeks, but it ended up being three to four. No, because I guess when you're putting that sort of money into mm. one post, you've got to be confident that it's going to work. Were you always a believer of social media and its reach of customers? Yeah, definitely. That's the pretty much the only way we market. Mm -hmm. How did you how did you go about growing your business? Did you get advice from people or did you have the background for it? I mean, how did you go from seeing a picture on Instagram to having eight staff? Was it a scary process? I mean, not scary. I guess, you know, it grows. It just scales kind of naturally. Um, it was a lot of hard work when I first started. But I guess you, you see what works, what doesn't work, and then repeat the repeat what works. Okay, I want to ask you more about your background before you all started this, so we'll come back in just a minute because this is a fascinating story, a really cool success story that we can all learn from. Let's get back to Ia Lu, our entrepreneur who has had a phenomenal year with success on her business. Were you always showing signs of business when you were a little kid? Yeah, I started selling things from probably the age of 13 or 14, like buying things and selling them on Trade Me. And did you study business? Yeah, I, I studied commerce at the University of Auckland with a marketing degree. Yeah, but I bet you didn't expect this to have a million dollar business when you're in your early 20s still. Mm. Um, what is, so obviously with the waist trainers that's great, mm. but you must be concerned that it's going to be, you know, it's something that's going to fizzle out. Are you looking at growing your business? Yeah, so because of that, um, I actually started my third business, which was Lux Fitness, um, and we just do like protein powder, more health and fitness products. Oh, it sounds like you're, you're picking the things that are on trend. Yeah, yeah but how, <laughs> how do you know what to pick, though? That's what I want go to Go on know. Instagram. Yeah, Scroll. go Scroll. on Instagram. <laughs> okay, before we go, what's been the biggest lesson you think you've learned in the past five years of business? Because it's obviously been an incredible growth. What do you think people watching at home can learn from your, from your experience? Um, I think if you want to start your own business, if it's something you want to do, just go ahead and do it because you don't know where it's going to lead. Like me, I think I thought I was going to sell a few and then look what happens. And, and, and look what happened. Yeah. And finally, <laughs> what is the, um, what's the first thing you did your big spend on once you got your big money? What's the first <laughs> thing you spent it on? Um, I bought a car. I got a Mercedes G-Wagon and I love it. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. G-Wagon. So a little bit of work in there as well. You oh. put everything in the back of it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Well, that's, um, that's a fabulous story. And yeah, good, good luck. Work. And good luck in the future. And I'm really looking forward to hearing more from you. I'm sure we'll hear a lot more. I can't wait to hear all about it in the future. And I need a waste too. <laughs> Summer is a coming. Yeah. <laughs>